Pat Narduzzi. The Nard Dog. Now, I think everybody understands how much I like the Nard Dog. He's he's insecure a little bit, or at least comes off that way. He's irritated constantly. He is not the happiest camper, and he is, I mean, just the stereotypical defensive coordinator. And yet, I like him. I like that. I, you got to have all different facets of personalities inside of college football in order for it to be fun. And Narduzzi is one of those, right? You got the the players, coaches, and then you got the hardcore offensive guys that just want to throw the ball all over the place. And you got the crazy loopy ones like Mike Leach, and then you got the hardcore disciplinarian type, or at least come off that way in Pat Narduzzi, uh, which is what made the relationship between him and Mark Whipple. So much fun, right? The former offense coordinator that's now at Nebraska, who was the head coach at UMass, etc. Uh, this was this was very interesting to me, and I uh, I clipped it. It was part of the Schultz Ford Bazzi's Black and Gold Banter uh, podcast, and he went on. and This felt like he was just talking to. Uh, we talked about this with Nick Saban, where he didn't think anybody was recording. Now, of course, Narduzzi knew that somebody was recording this, but. I found it incredibly interesting that he was willing to say stuff like this, knowing that it could get out. It just surprised me. Listen to listen to this clip. And our old offense coordinator had no desire to run the ball. Everybody knew he was stubborn. I mean, Wake Forest 118th in run defense, and we threw the ball every down. And when we ran it, we ran it for 10 yards, but that wasn't good enough. Um, that was, so that, was that philosophy awesome. will change a little bit. But he was banged up, so maybe if we didn't bang him up all season, maybe we would have played. Okay. Now, let's... <laughs> We every time we ran the ball, we ran it for ten yards. And it, what he was explaining there is that if Kenny Pickett had not gotten beat up by throwing the football so many times throughout the season, now remember this was a Heisman finalist. Uh, they had a Belitnikov winning wide receiver. Like the offense worked. Obviously, uh, he talked about Wake Forest. They scored forty five points on Wake Forest. Like they, <laughs> but he he said they ran it like two times, and got 10 yards each time on it. Um, no, no, that is not actually correct. Uh, I pulled this up. I just wanted to go back and look and see. They threw the ball 46 times. They only completed 21 passes, but, uh, or sorry, sorry, that is, uh, that's Wake Forest. They they threw the ball 34 times. They actually ran the ball da, 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 38 times here. For 2.9 yards per carry, did Pitt. It had 112 yards rushing on 38 rushing attempts in that game against Wake Forest. Like, just absolutely ridiculous. But uh, but what this video did, what this clip did, is gave you a little bit of insight into the relationship between he and Mark Whipple. Mark Whipple is somebody that understands the direction that the game of football, or the game of college football at least, is going. You have to be able to throw the football. You have to be explosive you have to do things that the defense is not expecting, right? It does let me know going into this season. You know, they brought over Frank Signetti from Boston College. He was the Boston College OC. He brought in a guy that runs a pro style, that likes to run the football quite a bit. And I wonder if they are just going to leave some stuff on the board that, you know, they could end up losing some games that they should absolutely win based on talent but they allow teams to stay in the game when they probably shouldn't. So uh, it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to listen to that because I like when coaches are very candid and they're very honest about these things. Uh, but basically everything that Narduzzi has said at ACC Media Days, he's been grumpy, he has been irritated, <laughs> and I'm not sure uh, what exactly to make out of all of it, but I, I do thoroughly enjoy him quite a bit, quite a bit. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.